Hey, I'm Rob from JustTheRoad.com and I'm going to show you how to play So Clover. This is a game for three to six players, plays in about 30 minutes, is designed by Francois Romain and is published by Repros Production. This is an abstract cognitive word game where players are trying to score as many points as possible. So why don't you show me you're so clever by hitting subscribe, play cooperatively with the video by clicking like, and don't forget to fall leaf a comment. On to setup. Each player gets a clover board and a marker. Shuffle the cards and place them into a face down deck. Each player will draw four, then secretly and randomly place them on the four spaces on their board. This creates four pairs of words around the board next to each leaf of the clover. And now onto gameplay which is in two phases. Choose clues and resolution. When choosing clues, players secretly and simultaneously write one word on each of the four spaces around the board trying to tie the two words on that side together. You can consider them as two separate words, for example here I'm thinking of this one, I've got sun and machine, I need one word to connect those two together, or I could try it as sun machine as one word. You just need to put a single word on the leaf, but there are some rules. Compound words are allowed as well as common and proper nouns. You're allowed to use acronyms, you're allowed to use numbers, and you're allowed to use onomatopoeic words. Obviously you can't use any of the keywords shown on the card, including translations. You also can't use a word in the same family, so if the word is prince, you can't use princess. And also, no made up words. Once complete, remove all four from the board, draw a fifth card from the deck, then shuffle them together and wait for everyone else to finish. Once everyone has finished, you go to the resolution phase. Players take turns being the spectator. That player cannot communicate in any way while the other players try and put their cards back on their board correctly. The spectator will place their board and five cards face up. Players work together to put the four cards in place. Any disagreements on where they might go are resolved by the player to the spectator's left. They have final say. Once everyone is sure they are correct, the players will announce their final placement on the board. If all four cards are correct, the team scores six points, one point per correct card plus two bonus points. They discard the cards and flip over the board, writing the score. If they are not correct, the spectator simply removes the incorrect cards, giving no other clues to the players. Players get one more try to put the cards back in the right place. Once confirmed, incorrect cards are removed and the players score one point per correct card. Either way, players flip over the board and write the points scored on the back. Then the player to the spectator's left takes their turn at being the spectator. Once everybody has been the spectator once, all boards would have been scored and the game ends. Add up the points and note them down in the record of legends. Did you beat your best score? To make the game harder, players can agree on a number of extra cards to add before the resolution phase. Good luck with that. That's how you play So Clover. Thanks for watching, remember to like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when a new video goes live. You can follow me on Twitter, Insta, Twitch and YouTube at Jester the Rogue or find the blog at JesterTheRogue.com. I've been Rob aka Jester the Rogue and I'll see you soon.